I'm only joking, I hope I didn't scare you here back in the Hertfordshire ghost town where I do a lot of my videos. You would have also seen that I've invested in a floating camera holding device so that I have both hands when I'm talking now in these videos, which um, I'm definitely gonna be using a lot more. It's Throwback Thursday, so we're gonna be checking out an old video of Supercars of London, and I'm gonna be talking to you about what happened before, during, and after. However, this video, or videos, um, happened over a period of time, so it's gonna be a lot of fun talking about the uh, owner of this car, and also some of the cars that he's previously owned. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video of the tax discs as well. I thought that it was quite funny. And uh, comment below if you've seen anyone that's was switched on as me and taken out their tax disc as well. So uh, absolutely fantastic. Keep your ideas coming as well on my Audi R8. So far we've got really cool um, uh, baby blues and camos, uh, suggestions and photoshops as well. So definitely keep sending them in. Absolutely brilliant. Let's start off with checking out some of the footage of this Pagani Zonda Cinque Rosa. One of five and worth well over 1.5 million pounds. power sliding a 1.5 million pound in central London. I'm sure that uh, these videos have had a lot of comments saying that it's not a power slide or it's not a drift or whatever, but in central London, there's not that much space. And for this guy to be power sliding a one of five uh, Pagani's on the Cinque Roaster, an Italian masterpiece, uh, he's got balls, the passion, uh, that you get to see uh, from this Zonda is absolutely insane. The Zonda, uh, for me, is one of the uh, best supercars out there, and a Cinque Roadster, or even the De Cinque Coupe, um, is definitely at the pinnacle of where the Zonda hits. So this guy um, is definitely a regular in central London. He comes pretty much every year. You may have recognized him this year for driving the red LaFerrari with the number plate 666, 666, 666s. Six, six, six. He also had a brown Bugatti Veyron Rembrandt edition for test, and the yellow P1. They were all his, including the white Maybach with the number plate 444. In previous years, he's had the Zonda Trinco Roadster, he's had the Koenigsegg Ergera R, he's had the uh, blue chrome Bugatti Veyron Centenaire that used to be chrome with white. He also had a matte black Aventador, he had a Mansory Ghost, he had a G-Wagon G63. His collection is to die for, and um, at his age as well, I think he's a year younger than me. So this guy, um, 22, 23 years old, and he's power sliding a Zonda Cinque Rosa around central London. Before, every time we saw this guy driving, we knew that he was always gonna be in the mood for something fun, and just hearing the V12 AMG sound that you get from the Zonda is absolutely insane. Um, so uh, seeing this car on the road, there's not many people that have seen a Cinque Roaster on the road. Uh, I'm, I feel very, very lucky in doing so. Let's check out some more of this footage because there is absolutely tons of this. that footage 
footage and uh, to be honest with you, I do watch it pretty much every other day. The videos from 2009 to 2010. This guy um, is definitely a god in the supercar world, being able to power slide a 1.5 million pound Zonda Cinque Roadster around central London at the young age of like 20 years old, which uh, is an absolute dream. Um, and uh, there's only a handful of people that are lucky enough to do that. Um, and also I think that now that the um, that was the pinnacle of the supercar season in central London, um, we we're going to be really uh, stretched to even get sort of footage of that with the police and residents so hot on these guys now. So um, unfortunately, those days may be over. Um, but it's given me inspiration to take this car out, even though it's four-wheel drive. I want to try and give it a power slide. So let's go. I hope you've enjoyed another Throwback Thursday. Uh, one quick message that I'll say is, although power sliding looks cool and definitely looks really cool when a Zonda Cinque Roadster does it, it's definitely illegal and dangerous driving. So um, if your back end does kick out, just make sure that you uh, counter steer it properly um, and uh, you'll be fine. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.